Welcome to our last reflection on this Advent journey. Remember, we have reflected not only on Matthew's Gospel reading during this Advent season, but we have also studied the wisdom of Jesus, which Matthew passed on to us from the Beatitudes. Oh, I hope you've been happy this Advent season as we have reflected on the Beatitudes and Matthew's Gospel reading for us, our Sunday morning Gospels. And in this last reflection, we will turn to the Beatitudes one more time. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God, which is a favorite of many, as we all desire peace in our lives. However, we need a peace that is more than a quick walk by a lake or a pond without ripples. No, we need a divine gift of peace, especially when we find ourselves in hardship or calamity or whatever's going on in our lives. We need divine direction to avoid the depression that comes through overspending during this Advent season. Some may even need God to order their steps through grieving thoughts of a loved one who may have transitioned to the gates of heaven last year. They're not with us this year. If this is you today, Matthew's gospel about Joseph is for you. I hope you love this story. Our reading for the fourth Sunday of Advent, Joseph, a righteous man who is touched by an angel, heard these words, Joseph, son of man, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. Church, here's a man who listened to the angel's direction during a very perplexing situation. He was in a dark hole. He loved Mary, who was with child. And according to the Jewish custom, Joseph had the right to shame her and divorce her. However, touched by an angel, Joseph received divine direction with words that removed his fears and brought him a peace that surpasses all understanding. Here we see a righteous man who knew about upholding the dignity of a person in opposition to a cultural practice that promoted this crazy attitude. That is, it's a man's world. No, Joseph followed divine direction from his angel, and he sought the common good for his beloved wife. Joseph helped her flourish as a human being with the most precious gift in her womb. Joseph, with the inner peace from the angel, helps usher into the world Emmanuel. God be with us, who would be the savior of the world. Yes, Joseph is a peacemaker. And so he is blessed. He is a child of God. And guess what? <laughs> we, you and I, we are peacemakers, blessed to be called children of God. We have angels watching over us. God sends angels to help us to see the Savior of the world. We have the Beatitudes. We have the Holy Spirit. We have the virtues, faith, hope, and love. We are peacemakers. We can go to the mountains and shout, Peace to everyone all over the world. Let us pray. Glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace to those whom his favor rests. May God's angels encamp around us and bring us support as we walk with Jesus during this Advent season. As we continue to celebrate the birth of Jesus. And next year, May God's angels stay with you wherever you go. Amen. See you next year. God bless. Shining from the heart of God. Consider the